Hi guys, it's Carolyn here with the Hillside Market. Today I wanted to show you guys what my indoor grow setup looks like. So on these shelves behind me, I start up to 3,600 plants per shelving unit. So this indoor seed starting technique and this setup actually obviously allows you to grow a very large amount of plants in a small space. So I'm just set up in a corner of my basement with these grow shelves and in this space, like I said, I can grow up to 7,200 plants indoors. So my indoor grow shelf is obviously tailored towards soil blocking. So these numbers of indoor seed starts, like the 3,600 plants per shelf, are based off of using soil blocks. Um, if you are at all interested in soil blocking, do check out some of my prior videos that goes more into that. Uh, today's video is just featuring my actual indoor setup and all of the components that are required to get this set up for yourself. One of the first things that you're going to need to get is a wire rack shelf. So these shelves can be purchased on Amazon and I will include the link to my Amazon affiliate shop in the description below. The wire shelves that I use are the six tier shelf unit. You'll also want to get yourself two four foot grow lights per shelf. So if you're looking at having five shelves in use of plants, then you will require 10 four foot grow lights for your one shelving unit. Now, as far as heat mats go, don't go thinking that you need to buy a heat mat for every single tray. Oftentimes, your trays are gonna actually be getting started at different times, so you'll actually be able to stagger the use of your heat mats this way. So I have about, I think, 10 heat mats for the total of my two shelves, and both of my shelves combined will hold 30 trays. So as you can see, there's not a need to have 30 heat mats. It's also really important that you have a very good timer and the reason is is that you're going to want to put your grow lights on a cycle. I have my grow lights set up to be on for 16 hours per day and they automatically turn on and shut off every single day. It's programmed. It is so nice and convenient that way. You definitely want to get yourself a timer for your grow lights as well. This is the type of timer that I use for my grow lights. Uh, this one can be adjusted in 30 minute increments and it's my favorite timer. Um, it works flawlessly. I have zero, I've had zero issues with it. It is also weatherproof. So get something that's rated for outside. Um, that way you don't have to worry when you're watering your trays if you accidentally spill water on it. Get yourself just a regular old watering can so that you can water everything easily. I just use this guy here. And actually, a good word of advice is if you find something with a finer nozzle or a finer tip like this, it's way easier in terms of precision and it makes way less of a mess. This is my preference anyways. So if you're looking at using lunch trays like I am or cafeteria trays such as these, you'll, you can actually just purchase these uh, through my Amazon shop as well. And each shelf can hold three trays. Um, and then for a total of 15 trays for one shelving unit. Here's a little bit of a closer look at my setup. So we're early in the growing season right now, so I only have one tray under the lights. Currently, I'm only plugging in this, this uh, row of lighting so that I'm not wasting a bunch of power. This is what I'm talking about with the uh, cafeteria trays and the soil blocks. Um, I have eucalyptus and uh, eucalyptus and lisianthus on this tray. And underneath here is my heat mat. And this heat mat is plugged in 24 seven and it will stay on for the entire germination period. And once my seedlings are done with the heat mat, um, I just unplug the heat mat and I just store them up top. There's no need to keep them on the shelf. Uh, another thing to note is Every shelf requires two grow lights. Initially, I had only done one and it's definitely not enough. I was finding that my plants were uh, reaching for the lights. So definitely have at least two, two lights per shelf. If you guys have any more questions about my grow shelf, be sure to leave them in the comments and I will reply to them as soon as I can. I hope you guys liked this video. Once again, this is Carolyn with the Hillside Market. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned with everything that's going to go on this year in 2023. I am planning to document my entire year for you guys and take you along as I learn everything 
anything and everything about gardening and DIY projects and so much more. I can't wait to see what's to come. Thanks for being here, guys. Have a good one.